And here we are with another error chunk filled episode of Andom Han. I have decided today that I'm going to prank Sid just for the fun of it. It would appear that I'm the only one that actually eats, you know, meat on the server. Everybody else seems to eat melons all the time. So just to screw with Sid, I got as many melon blocks as I can. And I'm going to fill his little monument here. I don't know if I have enough. I hope I do. This is going to take a little while. <laughs> I wish I was recording yesterday. Yesterday I had... I found a spawner. I made a skeleton trap. I even found a cat. So yesterday was a big, big day. Ooh, that's a lot of melons. This is gonna hurt. Ow. Ah, oh, crap. How am I supposed to get up there? where I wanted them, because they're not coming down. <laughs> they're going to stay there. <laughs> Don't exactly have a choice. Hmm. Crap. solicited for spare melons from everybody else, but I don't think anybody has enough. I don't think Sid will be on. He usually doesn't come on until much, much later in the day. He's down one here, that explains that. Okay. Oh, I think I'm gonna run out of melon blocks too soon. I think I pulled this prank a little too early. Shame. Yep, ran out of melon blocks. Crap. Yeah, that doesn't look all that bad. <laughs> See what's going on up there. Mm -hmm. Wee. Oh yeah, that'll screw with his head. And right here, I'll put my sign. Gotta make my sign first. <laughs> sign so I can finish what I was going to say. Basically, I'm not going to finish that. There. And I'm following the standard rules of pranking. No lava, no fire, no TNT. I'm going to add no flowing water, that way I don't have to, you know, worry about that stuff. No destructing of other people's stuff. And you got to leave a sign letting people know who did it. Alright, now 
to get out of here. Hopefully Sid doesn't get on for a while. But hopefully when he does, I'm on to see. <laughs> like crap, do I get out of here? That's one way to get out of here. Oh, hey. Landing pond. Oh yeah, I built this. Little tiny fishing shack. with a tunnel that goes the entire way to my little cave area place. My sheep. I love the blue sheep. Ooh, I have daylight. I should make yellow sheep. I have red sheep too. I have roses. At least I think I can... You know what? I have no idea if I can. Let's find out. Some form of white sheep. Once I can get something with silk touch, I'll put a piece of grass down there and let it grow so I can actually shear my sheep. Hello, sheep. Okay, let's see. Five white sheep. Sheep. I have Technicolor sheep. Oh, I love it. and his Technicolor sheep. playing yesterday, I heard this pounding sound of pounding wood. I'm like, what the crap is that noise? I had a wooden door here, and then there was a zombie on the other side. He bashed down the door and came into the house. I had to go and kill mobs and spiders and crap like that, put up an iron door. Definitely an interesting game. Hello, kitty. What am I going to do? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to run off to my, spider, or my skeleton trap and build up some experience points so I can try to get a pick or a shovel or something with silk touch. I've tried it like five times and it keeps failing. No, I have no idea why that chest keeps opening and closing. Uh, let's see. Let's grab some food just in case. Okay, that should do me. Here you go, kitty. Oh yeah, and when I broke the spawner. Oh, it's not in there. Where is it? It's in here. I got a record. Shows a little white block up on my uh, 
spinny map. So I know which direction I go. And it also has distance underneath the coordinates. So I know how far. And I'll probably be cutting, so here we go. And we're here. Yes, this is my skeleton trap. I left it open so anybody could use it. I also stocked it with a few stone swords. I just want to show it off. I won't show you me grinding it. But basically, skeletons get washed from their spawner down into this hole, and you just beat at them. And that's it. That's all you do. Though I don't see any more skeletons coming. So. Yeah, you don't want to stand too close because you stand like here and do it, they will shoot you. So you gotta stand back. And here we are after a little bit of grinding. Not too much, I'm only level 15. But from what I understand, I don't need to be an uber high level to get it. What in the crap was that? I think my cat died. I don't think I'm going to feel too bad about that, because I think the cat was stupid enough to run into the fire. Anyways, on to enchanting. I'm going to enchant a golden pickaxe, because from what I understand, gold is easier to enchant than all the others. And a pickaxe will be far more useful in the long run. Even though I know gold has the same dexterity, or durability, that's the word I'm looking for, as wood... But I'm going to try to enchant it at 15. Okay, finally, we got a 15. So, here we go, hoping for silk touch. Ah. Okay, you know what? I'm done for the day. I'm out. I'm done. Oh, okay, who did this? Bad Kelton. Kelton? Or whoever did it. Oh, oh. Wait, did you break the uh, stones that were there? No, 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 that violates the rules. Oh, you placed them around it, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I, could use I told you I had a hell of a lot of melons.